name is Paulina Gonzalez. I'm the executive director of SAGE, Strategic Actions for a Just Economy. I'm going to do this in English first and then briefly in Spanish, and then I'm going to ask two of the tenants who live here with their families to talk about what they've been experiencing in this property. Um, so we're here in front of the home of three families, the Vera, Herrera, and Clemente family. These families and their 11 children have lived in this home for as many as nine years. Last September, Fannie Mae foreclosed on this property. Seven months ago, in July, the electricity was shut off on this home. And when the families went to speak to DWP, they were told that the previous owner had an $18,000 bill that they had to pay if they wanted the electricity to be turned back on. Since then, because they don't have the $18,000, and because Fannie Mae has refused to pay, to turn, to pay that amount, I, I should say, the tenants, the families paid their rent, which had a utility included when they paid their rent to the previous owners. Fannie Mae has refused to pay the amount due to DWP and refused to do anything about it. So these families, with their children, have been living in the dark since July of 2011. Mold has seeped into the walls, causing respiratory problems for the children. Windows are broken so that inside of the house and the families are exposed to weather. Rats have infested one of the units. Fannie Mae has refused to do anything about it. These families have taken their complaints to the Los Angeles Housing Department, the Department of Building and Safety, and the County Department of Public Health. Nothing has been done to help these families. They've been left to spend for themselves. Here we are in March, and they're in the same conditions, actually worsening conditions within the home. Angel, who is the infant you see here, who is nine months old, has lived most of his life without electricity. Nine months old, he's lived most of his life without electricity. The five-year-old boy, Ederson, is having asthma and respiratory problems. The children have to do homework with a generator, a gas generator running in the home. We're here to hold Fannie Mae accountable. They have dozens of properties as they, in, the city, in South Los Angeles and Southeast Los Angeles that are in foreclosure. They're preparing to sell their properties and become equity owners, and we're here to ask Fannie Mae, is Fannie Mae going to be Los Angeles' newest slumlord? Because that's what they've done in this property. They've acted like a slumlord. I'm going to say it briefly in Spanish. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Paulina González, la directora de SAGE. ¿Está listo? I want to make sure it's perfect. Okay. <laughs> Estamos aquí para enseñarles al mundo las condiciones que Fannie Mae ha creado para las familias, y familias viviendo en esta casa que embargaron. Aquí viven tres familias con 11 niños. Hace siete meses cortaron la luz en esta casa y la compañía de luz, DWP, les ha dicho a las familias que tengan, tienen que pagar 18 mil dólares para que prendan la luz. Desde ese tiempo, esas familias y sus niños están viviendo sin electricidad. Danny May ha rechazado hacer las, los arreglos necesarios para esta casa. Hay moco en las paredes, las ventanas están quebradas y hay ratas en una de las viviendas. Las familias han exigido a Fannie Mae que prendan las luces y que arreglen la casa, pero Fannie Mae no ha hecho nada. Uno de los niños están enfermos las condiciones por, por las condiciones de la casa. Y mientras que Fannie Mae está preparando de vender las casas que han embargado, las familias siguen viviendo en estas condiciones. Ahora quiero presentarles, I want to introduce to you Heidi Clemente. Quiero presentarles a Heidi Clemente, que es una uh, señora que vive aquí en esta casa. ¿Le cayó alguien a esta So, uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Heidi, and, and right at, right now, the big issue here with us is we don't have any electricity for us and our, our children. Uh, they need to do homework, and they're struggling very hard to to make sure that they have the electricity to make sure that you know uh, that we do our homework here at, uh, at the house. Tiene que hacer, atender esto y ponernos la luz porque la necesitamos. 
and it's not right that uh, the banks are not taking uh, a matters, uh, they're not fixing this issue because it's, uh, they should be responsible for that. So right now, uh, I was looking for over two months trying to find out how I can fix this issue with, uh, with here uh, at the property, and they uh, uh, and we finally reached out to uh, the organization called Age. And, we're, and, and we thank them for helping us because I'm sure there's a lot of people in the community that have these same issues. So this organization called Sage, they're going to help us and, and guide us through this tough time. Thank you.
um, and she said that it is unacceptable that this family is a, one more victim of Fannie Mae. I would like to add, if I may, that Marjorie and her colleague, Aliria, two of our promotoras of Salud, will be walking through the house with you on the house tour and would be available to point out the hazards and the violations of housing codes. Thank you. So, we're going to right now um, go inside the home and allow um, cameras to go in as well as um, allow for individual interviews. I'd like to thank the different organizations that are here supporting us today, AIDS, Occupier Homes, St. John's, Well Child and Family Center, Esperanza Community Housing, Good Jobs LA, um, and Inner City Law Center, and we're all partners in this as we go through this. So thank you very much for all of you for being here. Um, I also want to thank Speaker uh, John Perez, who's uh, here today. So we'd, um, if anybody's interested in going in the home, speaking to tenants or any of us, we're here for that. Thank you. I have a sure. question. Uh, there's a sign on the fence that says the property closed to the public. Were they evicted? No. Okay. So they've been paying rent. Most of them, some of them have been here as many as nine years, um, and they've been paying rent, and they are tenants here. That they're, if the Fannie Mae wants to go through an eviction process, they have to go through the formal eviction process, which they have not done yet, although they've been threatening the tenants with eviction. And who have they been paying rent to? Have they been paying rent? So the, as soon as Fannie Mae took over the property in September, uh, the, fa the families have not been paying rent because they didn't know, Fannie Mae did not tell them who to pay to, um, and so that's where we are right now. But before that, they were paying rent and are prepared to continue to pay rent uh, when they are told by Fannie Mae who to do that with. And the electricity is basically, Fannie Mae doesn't want to pay it. Fannie Mae doesn't want to pay it. Uh, the Department of Water and Power, you know, is asking the families here for 18000 which they do not have. So they're left, you know, having to use a generator. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, I have one. Um, Danny May says that they've been um, trying to, they've been attempting to contact the tenants, but that no one's been responding. So. Danny May and the tenants, as well as Inner City Law Center and Sage, have been in contact. We've been talking to them. They're well aware of the situation. The tenants, for many, many months, have been asking Danny May to resolve this problem. So. They've been available, they continue to be available to meet with Fannie Mae, with, their, with the tenants and their representatives. And, you know, this is just another example of Fannie Mae and these banks trying to shirk responsibility instead of do what is right, not only by homeowners who are being proposed upon, upon, but by renters and tenants who live in these properties owned by Fannie Mae. So, just to be clear, they said that they have a whole log of, of notices that they've posted out, but that it's been sent so they don't know I'm how sorry. they can... Fannie, Fannie Mae representatives say that they've been posting notices, that they have a log of, of notices that they've posted to try to come inspect the house and to make the repairs, but then no one's gotten back to them, that's all? We'd love to see that list. I've never seen it. We've been here, we've been asking them to try to make repairs for months, and they haven't, they haven't made any attempts. Because they say it has to be specifically the tenants who respond, and then... The tenants, the tenants have been very much in, uh, wanting to be in communication with Fannie Mae and available to meet with them and show them the property. Fannie Mae has made, they've asked them to pay the electricity bill. Fannie Mae has not responded and has not made those repairs. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't take a lot to look at this property and know that Fannie Mae hasn't been here at all. Uh, how many units? Three units. Three units with three families. How many people in total? What's that? Yeah, the 17. How many? 11. What do they do with the water? Do they have water? Yes, they have water. So it's just power. It's just the power, electricity that's not. 